Wildfires are one of the deadliest natural disasters that happen every year in the U.S. and firefighters need to risk their lives in order to prevent them from spreading. Even though wildfires can be contained in small areas, they destroy the wildlife population that lives in those specific areas. This means that wild animals suffer the most from wildfires, and sadly, there is nothing that we can do about it. However, a family from Alabama decided to do something incredible by adopting a wild bobcat and a fawn. Animals that live in the forest are never safe, as there are always predators hunting for their prey. But most animals have natural defense systems against this. However, they don't have any way of protecting themselves against wildfires that burn everything they touch. Even though firefighters do everything in their power to contain wildfires, there is no way to stop them. Fires are fueled by oxygen and they keep spreading from tree to tree. The worst thing about this, though, is that fires burn everything in between the trees, including poor animals who don't know how to protect themselves. This picture shows us just how horrific wildfires are. Animals don't know what to do when this happens, and most of them try to run away but sadly end up getting burned. Can you imagine how terrifying it must be to see everything around you turn into flames and ashes? Things get even worse than this since the carbon dioxide that the fire creates makes animals and people who inhale it dizzy, increasing the risk of passing out. Our story starts with a little bobcat who was abandoned by his family. The bobcat's family ran away from the fire and left behind everything, including their newborn baby. The only chance of survival that the baby bobcat had was to be saved by humans. Everyone tries to help out when a wildfire breaks loose, but the government actually advises civilians to stay away from them. Not just that, but the government also says that people should not adopt wild animals because they might end up hurting them. Luckily, this sad baby bobcat was found and saved by a family from Alabama, the Krause family. The family saw how terrified the little bobcat was, and they knew they had to do something about it. Not just that, but the family also saved a small fawn who was also abandoned by her family members. Even though the family's dog was never prepared to welcome a small bobcat and a fawn, he was really nice to them. The dog didn't seem to mind that they were wild animals, and he took them under his care. Can you believe this? One week after the Kraus family adopted the bobcat fawn, they realized that the two animals were there to stay. They didn't have anywhere to go, and the Kraus family decided to name them Benji and Athena. The fact that Benji is one of the most adorable bobcats we have ever seen made it easier for the Kraus family to adopt him. Having a wild bobcat around your house is not the usual thing, but the Kraus family was willing to put it all on the line in order to help out. The Kraus family was taking good care of Benji and Athena. They were feeding them delicious food, and they made sure to play and pet them so that they felt welcomed around their house. The Kraus family says that the most amazing thing about having Benji around the house is how playful this animal can be. Bobcats are playful by nature, and this basically makes them big cats who love to jump around everything. Although there was still one problem that the family needed to figure out. The Kraus family knew that Benji is going to grow up one day, and they started thinking about what they were going to do once that happens. Benji could always attack them with his sharp claws or run away into the forest. Even though Benji could become a ferocious beast once he grows up, the Kraus family knows that he's a good boy. The little cat loved nothing more than to play with his new family, and this made it clear that he is never going to hurt them. It didn't take long for Benji to start growing in size, and keeping him in the house became a problem. This is when the Kraus family decided to invest some money, and they built him a special crib in their backyard. However, Benji never stopped playing with the family dog. Even though Benji was no longer a small cat, he never forgot about his friend Athena, the fawn. The two are natural enemies, but in the Kraus house, they are friends. Now that Benji is a big kitty, the Kraus family is more careful around him. They don't want to get hurt, and they make sure to play with him from a distance. However, you will never believe just how much Benji loves the Kraus family. Benji knows that the Kraus family saved his life, and he makes sure to thank them every single day. Isn't it crazy how attached this bobcat is to the young boy? 
The big bobcat gives the young Kraus boy a huge hug every morning he wakes up. To make things even better, the boy can barely get away from Benji without giving him a few pets first. Don't you think it's adorable how Benji likes to be carried around like a small kitty? Nonetheless, this story shows us the tragedy that wildfires cause and how much a bobcat can care for his saviors. A man accidentally rescued an injured beaver, and after the man's careful care, the little beaver returned to nature. However, beaver never forgot the man's life-saving grace. With the occurrence of a local case, the little beaver actually repaid the man in an unimaginable way. The man who knew the truth was even more moved. What happened? There are many beavers living by a river in Devon, England. They are good at swimming and diving, and they are mainly active at night. Most of their burrows are under the roots of trees by the river, and they feed on fresh bark, branches and reeds. The local beautiful environment and rich products have laid the foundation for the survival of beavers. The nearby residents are also used to the existence of these small beavers. The residents are very friendly to the beavers and often give fruits to the beavers that run into their homes. In this atmosphere, beavers and local residents became good friends. One day, a man went out to play, and he was driving a car on the road. Suddenly, a black mass on the side of the road attracted his attention. Out of curiosity, he got out of the car to check. What he didn't expect was that it was an injured beaver. Seeing the fluffy little beaver lying on the ground, he felt so sad. Because he grew up with these little animals since he was a child, he has developed a very deep affection for them, so the man did not hesitate, picked up the little beaver gently, and then went to the nearby animal rescue center. After he explained the situation to the veterinarian, the veterinarian immediately conducted a comprehensive examination of the beaver's body. The veterinarian said that the beaver was likely to have suffered a serious car accident. The huge impact had seriously affected the small body, and the condition was very critical. Without the man's rescue, the beaver would surely have lost his life. The veterinarian immediately operated on the beaver. Fortunately, the operation was successful and the beaver survived. The next step is the recovery period. Normally, if there is no accident, the beaver can fully recover in two weeks, but this seemingly short recovery period is not a small challenge for the little beaver. Overcoming various bacterial infections and post-surgical complications also means that the little beaver needs meticulous care and treatment. The rescue center dispatched the most experienced veterinarians to take care of the follow-up treatment of the little beaver, and everyone believed that the beaver would surely get through the difficulties. Time passed day by day, and the man would come to visit the beaver every day. He was very worried about the beaver, for fear that it might be in danger. The man's prayer helped, and the beaver gradually began to improve. From the beginning, he could not eat at all, and could only rely on infusion of nutrient solution to maintain his life. Later, he was able to eat by himself. Everyone has seen the progress of the beaver. As the beaver gradually recovered, a smile appeared on the man's face. He likes to put the beaver on his lap, and he is very happy to see the little beaver getting fat day by day. In this way, a deep relationship developed between the man and the beaver. Whenever the beaver sees a man, the beaver will swish to his side and enjoy the man's gentle touch. Under the care and love of the veterinarian and the man, the beaver regained its full vitality in just a week. It no longer needed medication, so the man took the beaver home. The man's home was by the river, which happened to be the beaver's favorite living condition. In his spare time, the man would take the little beaver for a walk by the river. Every time the beaver sees water, its nature will be fully displayed. I saw it rush into the water quickly and swim around in the water, like a swimmer. Although the man is very familiar with the habits of beavers, every time he sees this scene, he will be very surprised and sigh the magic of animals. After a few days, the beaver had fully recovered and it was time to let him return to the wild. Because of getting along with each other in the past few days, the man has long regarded beaver as his friend. When he thinks that his friend will leave him soon, he has mixed feelings in his heart, both helpless and reluctant.
The beaver also seemed to sense the change in the man's mood, and it also understood that it was about to leave the man and find its real family. On the occasion of parting, it picked up many branches for the man, and gave him its favorite food to express its gratitude to the man. On a clear day, the man walked with the beaver on their usual path, and he knew it was the last time. When he reached the river, he put the little beaver down, watched it run into the water, waved his hand, and said goodbye to the beaver. The beaver did not return to the shore as usual. In this way, the beaver returned to nature, and the man continued his life. This beautiful story seems to have come to an end. But what the man didn't expect was that one day a few years later, he would see the beaver again. On this day, something broke the peace of this small town. There was a robbery on the street where two men took a woman's bag in broad daylight and it didn't end there, then the two men ransacked a gold shop with almost were all robbed. Fortunately, there were no casualties in these two cases, and the criminals seemed to be running for money. This incident caused an uproar in the small town, which is a very important event for a place that has been peaceful all year round. The local residents were in panic, for fear that the two men would rob again. For a while, panic enveloped the entire town. The police in charge of the case were intensively pursuing the clues of the case in order to catch the criminal as soon as possible and give the residents an explanation. After repeated efforts by the police, the two men were finally locked. During the interview, the police learned that neither of them had a proper job, and they barely survived on petty theft, but recently they suddenly became rich. The two bought a lot of famous brands, which also made people around feel strange. This time, the police were more sure of their judgment, so they immediately launched an arrest operation. The police successfully arrested two suspects. During the interrogation, the two men confessed to their crimes. They explained the motives of the crimes and the flow of the stolen money. They said that because the amount of the robbery was too large, they didn't know how to deal with it for a while, and they were worried that the matter would be exposed, so they divided the money into four and hid it in a nearby forest. Knowing the location of the stolen money, the police immediately sent people to look for it, but the police only found three copies, and the remaining one was missing. Since the suspect did not hide it, where did the money go? Just when everyone was at a loss, a man showed up at the police station with the last share of money, which made everyone very puzzled. The man also understood the doubts in everyone's hearts, so he told the truth of the matter. It turned out that this man was the one who saved Beaver many years ago, and Beaver never forgot the man's life-saving grace. The suspect happened to hide the money near the Beaver's cave, so, in order to repay the favor, the Beaver sent the money to the man's home. After learning the truth, everyone at the scene was very surprised. They did not expect that Beaver had the same emotions as humans. The man also said that he was deeply moved by Beaver's behavior, which became a precious experience that he will always remember. Everything has a spirit, not only humans have a heart of gratitude, animals also have. Crows know how to feed back, and lambs know how to kneel and suckle. Animals will never forget the favors we have given. As long as we treat animals well, they will definitely reciprocate. On the contrary, if you do harm to them maliciously, you will also get their revenge.